What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been lacking in content lately, so I do apologise, but there is stuff going on in the background, there's projects on the cards. So uh, this video is to introduce project one out of two. Um, I've been ordering bits for a while, I've got the car behind this door, I've got an engine behind the camera. So uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to lift the door and show you what's next, but before you sit there and go, oh god, why would I want to watch Project One of them? Stay tuned. Watch till the end of the video. It won't be a long one. I promise you. Uh, I know what you're thinking. Why am I interested in Honda Jazz? Yada yada yada. See, I bought a Jazz. Um, a couple of years ago, just because I needed a bit of an in-between car. So I bought a cheap one local, nothing special. Kind of enjoyed it, with cheap on fuel. Um, they're not unfun to drive, like a little go-kart. Chassis lacks a bit, but it's an economy box, so... Put some springs and wheels on it. Um, there's a previous video about that. Check your channel out if you're interested. Um, and I quite liked it. But I've always had a bit of interest in the Jazz since... Well, since I was a bit younger. Just got companies like Spoon Sports and I think Hayes Racing and stuff like that all built one in uh, in Japan. So I thought I want to I want to build one. The Clio sold. Oh Jazz. This is a 2006 Sport, which means it comes with nicer bumpers, side skirts. It's got a little spoiler on it. Slightly nicer seats. Um, the climate control. Uh, that's pretty much it, that's the only thing that makes it a sport. It's got the same suspension, same engine, it's a 1.4, it makes 80 horsepower when it were new. Burns oil, it's on the... So, uh, oh, different wheels. You get sport wheels. So what's the plan? Um, it's going to be a street car, it's not going to be an out and out track car. And the plan is to put a bigger engine in it, more specifically, that bigger engine. Ignore the garage mess, um, like the stuff has been going on. That's another set of jazz bumpers and jazz skirts, engine crane and various other bits and sods. But what we've got here yeah. for the jazz is a K20 Z4 from a 2008, I think it was, Civic Type R FN2 shape. Um, it's a complete engine, literally still got everything on it, and wiring loom and... Bits of hoses from breakers, a Jubilee clip. <laughs> um, so it has got the proper three lobe VTEC on the intake and on the exhaust. Whereas like K20 A3s and K24s and various engines, well millions of engines. Um, they only have it on the intake side, not the exhaust. It's a little bit worse for wear, it's 105k on it. Uh, it needs re-gasketing, it needs a tidy up, which will be another video. We're going to completely strip everything off it, fresh gaskets, clean it all up, paint a few bits, get it looking really, really nice. Um, it'll stay relatively stock power because it's going to be a streetcar. I think with the ECU I'm going to use, it'll be 220, 230 horsepower, something like that. So it should be enough for the... Uh, one ton jazz so yeah looking forward to that uh, to go with it we've got a gearbox also an F from an FN2 but this one supposedly has an M factory helical limited slip differential in it uh, it's gonna go off to a friend of mine ads uh, he's gonna look through it for me double check it all and report back so yeah that's that should be good should get the power down a bit nicer I'll probably steal the wheels from the other jazz which are rotor slips um, get them recoated, repainted, whatever. Um, Colour wise, not sure. I might stick with the black, like the spoon wheels that they are replicas of. Um, also, tempted to go with silver. You know, clean up for uh, silver on silver road car, maybe. Hmm, don't know. Um, it'll get some chassis, chassis tweaks as well. Sorry, it's a bit, gla a bit glary in here. There we go. Um, it'll get some chassis tweaks, coilovers. Uh, maybe get an anti roll bar in there, tidy up a bit of bodywork. But yeah, that's pretty much the in and out of it. 
Um, I have bought a couple of bits already, nothing too major just yet. I bought some brake pads, nothing special. PBS Pro Race, um, for the, actually for an EK4, but apparently EK4 cal uh, calipers bolt straight up. Um, and then you just use the 262mm disc, which have to space the disc out slightly, or the caliper back slightly. Uh, I also bought a set of braided brake lines. These are from Brake Shop for my Honda Jazz. Uh, I'm a big fan of braided lines because I've had a factory brake line pop on me on Blight and Park on track. Um, and it was terrifying and it's the second time it's happened to me I had one go on a Toyota stall a years ago as well Salt Turbo um, so I'm a big advocate of one of the first things I do to all my cars set of braided lines um, with the engine as well it comes with a complete swap I got a pair of EP3 drive shafts because the FN2 ones are the wrong length um, clutch and flywheel I was hoping I had a light flywheel on it based on some invoices, but it looked like someone's robbed that. So yep. Yeah. So we've got an FN2 throttle pedal, drive by wire. We'll go into that in a second. And VCU. So first of all, that pedal. The wiring loom I'll use will be a racing circuits loom. They're a plug and play, albeit a couple of wires need moving around. Um and it uses a drive by wire throttle pedal. And the good thing about sticking with the drive-by wire instead of swapping to a cable is with the software I'm going to use to run it on you can get a couple of cool features it'll have flat foot shifting it'll have a rev blip on downshift so when you go down gears in aggressive gear changes it will actually blip the throttle up for you you can even map in things like traction control and whatnot but that's a bit more complicated i don't know if we'll get that uh, the software we're using will be ecu tech I'll send off this ECU to, I think it's TPW Engineering, they do an ECU. You can get the Bluetooth module and everything to connect it to your phone. You can you know, turn it down, put it in violent mode and stuff like that. And you can keep an eye on all the canvas information, throttle position, cooling temperatures, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, um, need to send that off. Throttle pedal, I've got, apparently you can use a next generation jazz throttle pedal as well, but uh, that one I managed to get through in the swap, so you know, hope for now. Yeah, looking forward to it. Like I said, I'll keep the video short, so I'm going to end it somewhere around here. I don't think I've forgotten anything else. Anyway, the car, quick walk around the car, show you what it is, and uh, I'll end the video, I promise you. Paintwork's not in the best of nick, it could do with a full single stage to clean it up. It's got a couple of bangs and nicks here and there, but it's not a new car. Sport wheels, scuff there. The usual jazz condensation issue. Locked. Nice clean interior. Got the uh, armrest. We'll clean up the interior a bit, get a nicer, nicer gear knob, and maybe even put an EP3 steering wheel on it and get a flat bottom point or something. I don't mind these seats, they've got a little bit of shape to them, so they do hold you in quite nice. Sorry for the wind, but I have the skirts in there I mentioned, and that little boot spoil I mentioned as well. Yeah, nice little car. Oh, it's got a scuff on this door there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Um, if anybody South Yorkshire based knows a detail, it will give it a interior deep clean and a single stage. Nice. Right, drop it in the comments. I'll. Drop a message on Facebook or whatever. I've got more parts to order. Um, I said to myself it was going to be a very cheap build. I'll give myself five grand budget, including the car. Probably going to go a bit over budget. If you're interested in a K-Swap Jazz, subscribe, drop a comment. I'm looking forward to it, yeah. I'm really, really enthusiastic. Obviously, when we pull this engine out, we'll give the engine bay a clean up. There's a bit of notching needs doing in the engine bay and stuff, so we'll have to paint a bit anyway. But yeah, uh, like, video, drop a comment, subscribe if you want to see more and stay tuned for another video hopefully in the next week or two because i've not only just bought this car because this is going to be a street car i've bought another car which is going to be a track car very basic car it's not going to be out special but two projects more content see you on the next one